All right, so we're back in Chris's amazing yard full of things we'd love to get fixed up, but we're going to focus on uh, Camaros because we've got currently one that you know, the black one that I love with the paint job over there, the T-top one. That one already runs. We got it out of the grave, so we figured we'd get this one going, but it is pretty rough. We haven't looked at it in a while. So what did you say, 20 years? Yeah. I mean, we looked at it on the last video, but literally I haven't. I've had it 10 and I haven't done nothing to it. The right. previous owner had it 10. Right, and then the previous owner story, tell me about how that works. So you've had this for 10 years, and then recently you figured out that you know somebody that's family member actually built this car? Yeah, it was a guy who built drag cars. He built it for his wife, and I guess she died in jail, and the car just sat, so they wanted to get rid of the car, and I bought it. And then looking at the motor, a friend of mine figured out who built the engine up. And the last name sounded like the same last name as a friend of mine. So I asked him about it. And he said it was his uncle who built drag cars. He built the car for his wife. Mm. All right. So I thought it'd be cool to get it going again. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, what's cooler than one Camaro, too? Get a high-rise huh? intake. So, intake. what year? 78. 78. And what engine are we looking at here? Uh, 350. Oh, is it just? All right, 350. Yeah, so solid 20 years this thing hasn't run. So the plan is we are going to first take my sunglasses off so I can see what the hell. And get up under here and see what we're really looking at. I think a Holly will bolt to that intake. And I just rebuilt the Holly the other day, so I was going to put that on there. It's factory weight, just, you know, reduction. And get a new one of those bad boys. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to pull that off. Pull pull the whole carb off. Plug wires don't look terrible, but you can get a brand new set of universal wires for like twenty dollars. So I don't, why wouldn't you? I mean, if you really wanted to start off right, you just go out and buy a new cap, coil, yeah, filter, <laughs> wires. I was gonna get a boat tank, run it off. The yeah, boat tank. for sure. Probably could have used that. Oh, probably gonna need a little battery action too. Radiator situation looks pretty good if it doesn't have any holes in it. Uh oh, yeah, that's gunfire. They're shooting at it. Fan, let's see. Oh, can't. No belt on it, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a belt, but it's probably for some of Yeah. I watch a ton of these Can We Get It Running, Dig It Out of the Grave videos, and then, like, the number one comment is almost never actually about getting the car running or whatever. It's about this line of leaves right here that the guys that are fixing the car never take the time to clean off over oh, really? like the four days that they're going to do it yeah and they'll be pumping the damn carburetor and shit will be flying yeah. out and like the number one thing i'm telling you when we get back here i'm bringing a broom yeah, and i'm thanks. getting all that bullshit out yeah it's gotta go all this noise has gotta go because my ocd will not let that and i don't really have ocd but that i mean just aside from I'm not shitting on anybody, but I'm just saying if you don't want anything flying into your carburetor, if you got like a wasp's nest or... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Viper armed. Open on the other side. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hey, that's not nearly as... Man, it's... So that center console is... It's like they didn't change anything from a second gen to the third gen they were just like we're just gonna put this in here always somebody's put extra six by nines in the back what brand rampage holy crap i haven't seen rampage speakers in a long time so you said it's been sitting here for 10 right yeah okay so if we get this thing moving we know it's got the key in it that's always promising but we ain't even got Let me a, see if it'll start. Well, we don't have a battery, so it's probably going to be... <laughs> yeah, that's the name of your whole thing, isn't it? Oh, well, yeah, that is the name of the thing. Will it start? Something tells me... You want to take bets on it? It didn't start. Yeah, it's... No. Maybe next time. This. Yeah, I don't think it's hooked up anymore. Still, though, what a terrible design. Let's make this... Well, that's not factory. Let's make this great front end and then jack well, it factory, all up. you got to reach all the way under here and do it. Well, whatever. I'd, it is on the black I'd still rather have that than... Man, the adjustability on that alternator is crazy. 
It sucks when it's all the way to the end and <laughs> you need it longer. Yeah, it will be. Uh, that's custom factory. Oh, canister. Extra custom high speed adhesive. That's just surface rush. You can ignore that. Let's see here. I guess he threw it together with parts left over from other cars. Got a spring action. Yeah. yeah, why won't you? No. All right. Well, that's promising, too. Is this the underhood light just dangling right there? Uh, maybe. That's it a light. To this. <laughs> yeah, but still. I think that. No, oh, okay. Uh, all for right. Winter wipers or something. No, it's the wire to the light. Yeah. Oh, my fucking Yeah, we need a scooter for that. Strong hands for that. Yeah. All right. So, things we're actually going to need to get this running our charged battery. Probably going to see if these cables will work. Yeah. I would carburetor. probably go with a new fuel filter anyway, since you're going to try and run it off the boat tank. Do you have an electric pump in that boat tank? Um, yeah, I got an inline pump. I'm okay, yeah. So, oh, well, then you don't need, you know, the gas is good in that tank. Then I would sweat that. Well, I don't have the tank yet. Well, <clears throat> oh, Christ. You actually have to go still get the boat tank? Yeah, but it'll be a new tank. So okay. I'll know it's clean. And I got a Holly carburetor I just rebuilt. It's clean, ready to go. Oh, well, then we won't even have to. Oh, well, this might actually be pretty easy then. How's the uh, oil look on this bad boy? It's not check it. full of water or anything. Uh, I don't think so. And the transmission, do you have you ever seen this thing move? No. Good oil. Looks like it could use a port. It's black. Mm. I guess it was running. She got pulled over and got arrested and went to jail. Get off me. What you think, Dogbert? Oh, okay. Good talk. Okay, all right, so that's he's got his opinions. St okay, we get it. It's not a Volkswagen. Jesus Christ. All right, so probably a functional radiator. Who cares about the alternator? Yeah. And if you've already got a good carburetor, carburetor gonna go on there. The oil's gross, but it'll work. There's no water in it. Bowl. Yeah, I got a high rise on it already. Leland. I think I checked this the other day and saw water, something in there. Oh, uh, let's see. At some point. I can I get a light? Can I turn the light on this thing, Jesus? Jesus, give me a light. Nope. However, I don't see anything. Oh, hello, water. Tastes like an increase. Mmm. Good. Yeah. Real men taste fluids. Hashtag. It's like Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's why people are always tweaked about animals getting into it, right? So it actually oh, yeah. probably didn't taste that good. You've never tasted any of these? Um, no. No. Uh, you know. Good. So I got a... What's that? Trainer fluid looks great. Ooh. Oh, that actually does look pretty good. Yeah. Looks <laughs> way worse than that in my Buick. I, whose spoiler is this? This has got to be like a Honda fucking Accord spoiler. Yeah, I got it from the junkyard. I was going to try to put it on the top car. Ah. What is it off of? Uh, I forget. Some new foreign car. I think it's factory. Yeah, but I mean, usually on like the lens you can. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Pop runners? What? It's definitely what it says. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Pop runners. And maybe it's some sort of. I don't know, when you put new lights in it or something like that? Uh, it's supposed to help you orient the lights? I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. Wish I could get. Oh, I guess. Uh, uh, and come back here and try not to get boofed by a black widow or a rattlesnake. 
Hello darkness, my old friend. There we go. That's what it looks like. We gonna get it out of her. Yeah, it looks yeah, man, I should have started shooting from this side. It looks way more treacherous <laughs> through the trees to try and get this thing out of here, but it's still, I mean, if you look at that back tire, it's pretty buried. We're gonna need to get a generator. Do you have a generator? I have one. I have a, I mean a <clears throat> not a generator, I mean a air compressor or a generator. Do you have something to inflate these tires, I guess, is my question. Also, what's the deal with the back suspension? Is it just a lot of tire? Oh, uh, that's just a truck tire sitting on it. Uh oh. Oh. I pumped the wheel off. The oh, I wow. I expect this on there. That's just, just like chilling. That yeah. Yeah, that's just kind That's of actually not even on the car. So there's no wheel there. It's just what, sitting on a brick? Yeah, it's in a block. Okay. You have the wheels for this? Yeah, I think it's leaning up against the basketball hoop over there. I only took one off. Oh, I see it. Let's see. We can get there from here. There. Right. There. I'm not walking that far. I only know where it is because I can clearly see it. It's not too far away. All right. So that is the plan for this. We're going to head off to the parts store. That may be today, but the next time you see us, we will be deep, deep in cleaning leaves and um, trying to get this bad boy cranked up. I mean, it's a pretty basic 350, so it shouldn't take much. If everything is not locked up and I can't tell, we'll throw a ratchet on there and try and turn it over yeah. when we get back over here. But I don't, he doesn't think it's seized up. It doesn't have any reason to be. So basically this is just a, can we get it going and get it driving? And then once we get it out, we can get it cleaned up. And I don't imagine it's going to look a ton better, but it'll look better. <laughs> not in the trees and stuff. And then we got to figure out what's next. Are you going to work on the... Suburban hearse, or they're gonna work on that. My vote is the third gen Camaro over there as my preference, or the other Camaro. 57 Chevy. Yeah, or a 51 or a 56, or you know, got a yard full of stuff. So, Roadmaster. hey guys, if you know anybody who wants a teal Roadmaster, we have the hook up. It's uh, got this custom we started working on we were going to put a hot tub in the back and then we just decided to go with a full zen garden yeah was that a rose bush yeah hey, doing up there what the f i've never seen him get that high before what the f you have a natural rose bush in your yard no my grandma was on there oh I was going to say, never in my entire life have I There's just seen them. them over here. Yeah, but my point is, man, get these things popping in February. You could be raking in some money. What am I looking at? The flowers. Oh, oh. There's a whole row of them. That's a carnation. Yeah. I forget what they are. That's a carnation. All right. There's dark red ones and pink ones. Slightly less impressed, but still. All right, so the next time you see us, we'll be trying to get this running with a new fuel filter and the rebuilt carb and everything else we mentioned earlier in the video, plus getting all those leaves off there. I want to do it now, but I just don't want to get my hands that grody. It's pretty gross in there, probably spiders and stuff. So bring some gloves, but uh, yeah, that will be part two of this video. So stand by because it's coming. We're going to get this bad boy running. We're going to get all these things running and out of here. Cars and Coffee Kings. Later, taters.